Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my review of Ubuntu Mate version 18.04 which is codenamed Bionic Beaver. So if I was to sum up a couple of areas where this derivative of Ubuntu has absolutely massively improved, it is on the Unity style desktop which is called the Mutiny desktop. And it also has improved on the HIDPI, the high definition 4K displays. So we now have improved scaling on the Mate version 1.20 desktop. Ubuntu Mate comes with the Linux kernel version 4.15. Mesa 18.0 and offers installation of the NVIDIA 390 graphics drivers. The desktop has now been ported across to GTK3 and as a result we have seen a bit of an increase on memory usage. I've seen figures between about 520 to 600 meg of RAM without anything much open. Ubuntu Mate is still offering a 32-bit ISO release so you do have the option between 64 and 32-bit versions of the ISO. But I noticed their most popular user base is now on ARM. We can expect to see a Raspberry Pi image of Ubuntu Mate around July when the Ubuntu 18.04.1 release is out. It's because they require additional testing that they didn't have time to complete for the formal release of Ubuntu 18.04. Looking at a new feature which is available now, we have Color Emojis. That's through the Noto Color Emojis font. So those are the emojis that Google is now using on Android 8. I want to show off the Mutiny desktop first, which has seen quite a few improvements. For example, the heads-up display now is a lot more stable. Just pressing the left hand alt brings up a searcher to allow you to look through the menus. Okay, something like Pluma, it's not particularly essential. But a program like GIMP or Inkscape, which have quite an extensive menu, it is actually a very useful feature to quickly search for a specific item. You can also see at the top we have a global menu. Now the global menu and how to work perfectly in Qt and GTK based applications. The brisk menu has been updated to now include this dash. Across the top you can choose from your favourite applications to look in specific categories and it is very fast and responsive looking through the various categories. You can pin applications into the favourites menu by simply right clicking on them and if I go across the favourites now it appears there. You can open up multiple copies of the application by middle clicking on the icon. If you have multiple copies of an application open or when you left click on it it gives you a selector so it shows up the window title so it allows you to choose between each application this way. Well, that's quite a nice clear layout there and we can even close the applications as well. Looking at the alt tab menu it does show a preview of the window. You can resize applications into quadrants or halves. I found it a little bit difficult to get this quadrant but there we go. The top right hand side seems to be a bit unresponsive but all the other ones seem to be perfectly responsive. And it's not just quadrants, you can also do halves of the screen like that, should you really want to. The behaviour pretty much mimics the Unity 7 desktop, where you can grab an application and drag it away. So a maximised application you can drag down to a windowed application. Let's have a look at the Mate Tweak Tool. Now one new feature to appear here is the Undecorate Maximised Windows. So that should improve performance on gaming. Bit of a weird oddity there when you select it, it automatically minimizes the open applications. So yeah, I'm not sure why it does that, but there we go. It's no biggie just to reselect it. And it's not something it could be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, no real impact. The default appearance is to have the close, minimize, maximize buttons on the right-hand side, but I've, but I've opted to have it on the left-hand side. This is the option for the HIDPI scaling. And you can choose between having Marco or Compiz for the compositor. I was reading that performance has been improved on the Marco compositor. Let's look at this desktop changer, which is a really nice feature in Ubuntu Mate. This is the default desktop and they're using the brisk menu now, which has the searcher in here. And just to show it working, we're going to open up the Kaha file manager. The other options we have are contemporary, which is fairly similar, but we don't have any shortcuts there on the top left hand side. Cappuccino, which has a dock at the bottom of the screen. Netbook, which is more of a condensed desktop. Again, it is using the brisk menu. Pantheon. And once again, we have the brisk menu and we have a dock at the bottom of the screen this time. So where is the tweak tool gone? Uh, be that one. Redmond. Well, <laughs> no points for guessing what this will look like. Windows. Windows XP or Windows 7. And finally, traditional which is like a GNOME Classic. There is an option to install a minimal version of Ubuntu Mate during the system installer. And this excludes quite a number of applications from being installed on your system. For example, Brazio, Cheese, 
Dictionaries, Rivenbox, Seahorse, Thunderbird, The Full Suite of LibreOffice, Transmission, and VLC, as well as a few other smaller features including USB Creator, SimpleScan, Redshift, and the GUFW Firewall. I have to say I'm really impressed with Ubuntu Mate. I have seen that the development team are receptive to user feedback and have implemented many changes because of feedback that they've received. It really does set a high benchmark of what a Linux distro can actually be. I think this is something that the main release of Ubuntu should have done. They could have actually made something unique and appealed to a wide range of users. Because on one hand you do have the welcome screen to make it nice and appealing for new users, whereas a more intermediate or advanced user could just get rid of that and pick up the system and use it. By going for the minimal installation option on Ubuntu Mate, you can build the system up to how you want it, you can make it nice and personal for you, or you can accept the simplistic options and take one of the variety of desktop layouts that they've given you. Ubuntu Mate have really picked up the slack from where Canonical left off with the Unity desktop. The number of features now in the Mutiny desktop pretty much rivals that of Unity 7. I almost have to shake my head at the fact now that we get better polished releases of Ubuntu derivatives compared to that of the main Ubuntu release. Ubuntu Mate and Kubuntu are certainly a lot more impressive than the basic GNOME Ubuntu distro. I keep thinking that Ubuntu Mate must run out of ideas at some point, but yet they have surprised me on every single release. I'll look forward to seeing what they come out with on the next release, but as far as 1804 goes, it is a well-polished, very stable release of the Mate desktop. On a final note, I do have to say to Mr. Martin Wimpress, you're making it difficult for me to justify staying with KDE when you're making Ubuntu Mate look this bloody good. Well played, sir. Well played. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. <laughs>